Pinar at one of the local temples here, as you can see the big Buddha is uh, pretty big and it's very gold. And today is question and answers day. Well, poor old Pi, she's got a bit of a cold. Yeah. Looks like uh, she might be coming down with something. As you can see, it's really, really pretty up here. Again, so many temples. Look at the entrance leading into this, though. Just really, really nice. And through the trees, uh, you can see the Mekong River. It's quite high up here. Um, you can see the road below. How nice is that? Now, please bear with me, guys. I'm not going to show too much of my face today, and there's a reason. Um, as you know, I've been having a problem with the syncing issue uh, with Filmora software. Um, they've confirmed that there is a bug and they're going to fix it, but um, they say it could be June, July. Yeah, it's not a lot of good, is it? So just bear with me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try today to use uh, Premiere Pro and see how I get on with that. But uh, I'm not quite sure at this point, as I stand here, whether it's going to work out for me or not. So uh, please bear with me. Somebody asked me the other day, um, am I a religious person? You know, and because I, I, I like the temples and, and things. Uh, the answer to that is no. Um, I'm not uh, in any way religious whatsoever. But that doesn't stop me from appreciating the artwork, um, churches, uh, temples, etc. The artwork is just phenomenal. And of course, one of the things that um, I really like is history. When I was a kid at school, I used to hate history, but then I went to uh, university and I was studying uh, accountancy and part of the modules was law and I fell in love with the law um, I really really find it massively interesting because there's so much history there so I I learned a real appreciation for history and I generally can't get enough of it I just find it massively interesting now I've been asked about my motorbike um, it's a little Honda CBR 150R and it's nine years old so uh, it's seen better days but it has served Pi and I extremely well if I was to um, buy a new one it would definitely be the Kawasaki Z900 I'm very much into my middleweight naked bikes um, I would be loathed to be honest with you to get rid of this though I might just restore her and put her in my living room she's just a lovely lovely little bike I also got asked the other day about um, a license, a motorcycle license, if you're going to come to Thailand. Yes, you will need one. Uh, you can have your um, existing home country license or you can go for an international license. And if you're going to stay here long term, then you can get a Thai license. A word of warning here. If you come and rent a motorbike and you don't have a license, the chances are if you have an accident, you won't be able to claim on your insurance. Uh, a friend of ours recently came out, Chris, and he has a full UK motorcycle license. And the insurance company said that they would not uh, insure him to ride anything more than a 125cc. It's classified as a dangerous occupation. And Thailand now has the unenviable reputation of being number one in the world for motorcycle accidents. So uh, yeah, check your insurance company guys and make sure that you can ride a motorcycle here. Well, I'm at the Bansell Garden Resort. Now, when I drove past this and I drive past it pretty much every day. Uh, it appears that it's under construction, but we came in uh, because so many people have been asking uh, Pi and I, are there any places to stay in um, Bansell, where we live? 
And I've always said, no, not presently. This, there is one, but it's under construction. But apparently, this place is actually open for business. It is rather nice, and the staff here are more than happy for us to come in and film. Obviously, it's a nice little piece of uh, promotion for them, and I, I don't mind, this is local. How nice is that desk, though, the front desk? That's beautiful. This is your uh, foyer, and it's just really nice. It's very cool in here. They do have quite a bit of construction going on, but I can assure you it's not noisy at all. It's very, very green here. They've got all sorts of gardens going on. And this beautiful pagoda, it's just lovely. When that's fully covered, that's going to be absolutely spectacular. Just nicely kept though, it's just beautiful here. But let's just take a walk down. Um, these are all sort of little villa apartments. So you can see through here, they're still constructing the one there. But, and there's another one just over there. But it's still very, very quiet. You wouldn't know there was construction going on. They do look really nice. As you can see, walking down here, it's absolutely lovely. The other closest resort to us would be Rai Sung Arung. Um, Rai Sung Arung is beautiful. The views there are stunning. It's right over the Mekong but it is um, quite expensive. I was surprised. Room rates there start at 3,600 Thai baht per night. But let's not take anything away from this resort because it too is right on the Mekong River. Now, as you walk down the pathway here, you come basically to the back end of the uh, rooms. It is rather nice. And again, you can see this one here is just being finished. So uh, I assume that it's going to be quite a busy resort. And these flowers are just beautiful though. But here you go, boys and girls. This is what you call a stress-free holiday. It's just stunning and you're right on the Mekong River. It is unreal. I'm gonna take you to the platform here first. They have a beautiful pool. I mean, it's just stunning. What a way to spend a vacation. Swadi Kab, Sabri Mai. Yes, that is really, really nice. Just imagine, guys, coming here for a holiday, getting out on the motorbike and uh, exploring the areas, and then at the end of the day, coming back to relax with views like this. Yeah, life really doesn't get any better than this. But just how beautiful is this? I mean, the trees, it's almost like they've sort of put the buildings in between all the lush vegetation. It, it's like it's not been disturbed. It, it does sit extremely well. And this is one of my favorite trees. Pai, what's this called? Leela Wadi. There you go, guys. Sometimes I just have a problem pronouncing uh, the words properly. The, the scent on this flower is just stunning. We used to have lots of them on the golf course back in Phuket. But this one is particularly magnificent because it's pretty old. They obviously uh, considered this carefully when they built this to make sure they didn't disturb it. Absolutely fabulous. Mm. Uh, yeah, again, this, this building here, Pies just said, is so pretty. Imagine sitting up there on your balcony and then overlooking this uh, stunning scenery. I mean, could you really want any more out of a holiday? It's just absolutely beautiful and it's so peaceful. They have a rather nice restaurant here that serves up Thai food, Italian food and European food. And of course, the best thing, you can sit here and dine on the edge of the Mekong River.
And no guys, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm not being paid to uh, do this. This is just one of those things I keep getting asked, you know, is there a place to stay locally? Well, apart from the homestay, of course, uh, you now have this. Now the, uh, the lady that uh, manages the resort has kindly uh, allowed us to go in one of the rooms and show you around. So let's go and have a look. And as you can see, it is stunning, absolutely beautiful. Now this one obviously is uh, a two bed, but it's just so nice. It's absolutely pristine. I really, really like the choice of uh, floor tiles. They're not glossy, they're like a matte finished in an earthen color. It's just stunning. And you have a beautiful piece of artwork that basically separates the bedroom from the bathroom area. It really is very, very nice. It's modern, it's contemporary, um, but obviously with a with a you know an artistic Thai twist. I just love this type of thing, and I think the Thais are so good at it. The bathroom is really nice. There's some really good quality uh, fixtures and fittings here. You've got a really nice uh, shower cubicle, and then of course the toilet area. But it's. It's very calming in here. Uh, because of the earth and colors, it's just natural. You have a nice size TV there. Plenty of space if you want to sit and do a little bit of writing or just relaxing. And, it, and then you have the outside area. And this is a lady that uh, manages the resort. Again, going back to artwork, um, you can miss things if you don't look, but on the wall here, you have a beautiful little elephant carving. And then the bedstead has carvings as well at the top, which is elephants. It's just really, really nice. And then outside, of course, you have uh, your patio area, a little veranda, which in this particular instance overlooks the pool. Um, and then all these beautiful flowers, and of course, uh, the spectacular Mekong River. What a beautiful resort. Yeah, it's absolutely worth a visit. I would, um, if I was gonna come here for a vacation in Bansal and ride a motorcycle around the areas, uh, yeah, this is one place I would dearly love to stay. Certainly, if you're thinking about uh, coming here on holiday and you need somewhere to stay uh, in comfort, then this is it. Don't forget to bring your motorbike. Uh, you know, the, the places that you can explore here in Bansel, Chang Sen, Chang Rai is just immense. What I'll do is I'll leave a link uh, to the resort's website below if you're interested and you'll be able to check out the uh, room rates. Uh, they Obviously they vary um, between the high season and low season. Right now we're in the low season so room rates start off at around about 1,750 baht per night. Well, that's about all for today, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the uh, Q&A and uh, we'll certainly answer some more of your questions at a later date. We're going to try and do a Q&A once a week. Uh, we do get lots and lots of questions. Keep them coming. Some of them are very interesting and we'll do our best to cover them. Well, that's about it for today, guys. Whatever you do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. Pi's going to go home and uh, nurse her cold and uh, I'm going to take little one for a little bit of fishing, I think. Yeah, lovely. Take care. Bye for now, guys.